Now we are going to look at uh, data dip function. Data dip function helps to identify total number of days between two days, start date, end date. Also, it helps to identify total number of month, total number of year, and total number of days between two days, also total number of month. So let me show you a few scenario. Equal data if. If you see this function, generally whatever function we type, generally we get the function in Excel, but this function is not available in Excel, but still it works. Data if open bracket. So the criteria for this function is you have to choose the start date. That is your first criteria. And the second criteria is end date. Choose the second criteria. And here you have to choose what you want. So in this case, I want total number of days between start date and this end date. So let me update D. So 14,642. This is my total number of days between the start date and the end date. In case if I want total number of month, let me copy paste the same formula. Just double click and change the D to M. So this is the total number of month between the start date and the end date. In case if I want year, again I'll copy paste the formula. Let me change M to Y. So this is the total number of year between the start date and the end date. We can also find a uh, total number of days excluding the year. So here again I'll use data diff. So let me select start date and the end date. So here I use within double quote MD. So it will ignore the year. So it will just give total number of days between this two date. So from 1st October to November 2nd, it's only one day. So it will compare only days, it will ignore year and a month. Let me copy paste the same formula, the next cell. So here, so I'll use YM. So it will give total number of months between this two date, the start date and the end date. Let me change this. So it should be YM. So now you are getting total number of months between this and this. It will ignore the year. So now in case if you want to know uh, your start date, your birth date and today date. So how many years and how many months and how many days. So you can use this formula. See here I use the same date, start date and end date. As per this date. So if there is a person born in 1st October 1980. So his completed year is 40 and his completed month is 1 and his sorry, completed day is 1 and the completed month is 1 in case if I change this to December so now completed month become 2 hope you understood thanks for watching this video we will see in another video bye bye